You're watching Newsday. Welcome back. Now let's talk entertainment with Kende Kadoso. Uh, there's an upcoming Nigerian actor and an executive producer based in London, and he's passed through the same halls as the likes of John Boyga and Letitia Wright at the Identity School of Acting. His short film, Inheritance, available on Apple TV, is an important watch because it touches on the taboo subject of fertility from a different angle, sickle cell. Alongside exploring the subject of interracial marriage and an identity crisis, many Nigerians in the diaspora face do take a watch. I'm right behind you. I'm right here. I'm right here with you. I'm right here with you, okay? You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Okay, the Kadosa joins us now live. Also joining us is the film director himself, William Boyd, who is an award-winning writer slash director. Glad to have both of you join us on Newsday. Thank you very much. Good. All right. Let, let, let's start it this way before we get to your film and get to the message you're trying to pass across. What has been for you the bright side of, you know, on the entertainment industry of COVID-19, or has it been all gloom? and doom? I would say it's, it's, it's been a tough year. Uh, things have pretty much been shut down, but it hasn't all been doom and gloom because it's given me the time to take some time to work on projects that I actually want to work on myself and write new things and write different work that I want to work on in the future. So although it's been a very, very tough year, it has its benefits that, okay, fine, I'm not too busy doing a hundred different things. I can focus on one or two things that I really want to do. Okay, I'd like to find out from either one of you or both, uh, because the subject matter of sickle cell and, uh, okay, William and, William and also uh, the actor Boyd, uh, William Boyd, I would like to find out from both of you, um, what has been, what is it about the subject matter, sickle cell, and even the racial identity, is it a personal one? Because that's the impression I get just uh, watching that, that there's something personal in that. So William, would you like to take that question on? Okay, so, so the film tackles different subject matters. Yes, there's the sickle cell, there is the interracial relationships, and there's also the, the social, like the, the way we, society looks at the burden of uh, childbearing. So with us in the film, we want to tackle each of these and we bring them in a more modern context. So all of us know that um, we have women in our lives that are mothers, and that's great. And looking at that, we, we wonder what happens if they can't have children, you know? It's like these are people we care about, but they would be looked in a way that this is their fault, but that these are our relatives. If there's an issue with them, there's an issue with us. And like, if we have five kids, that's the man, that's on the man. If we have no kids, that's on the woman. But the reality is that in reality, if you have five kids, the women, they can be laying out the kids and men, we can be shooting blacks. So it's just bringing these topics up, bringing up the complexities of the issues that everything is not just black and white. And it's okay for us as guys to have things that we struggle with when it comes to having children. And it's okay to talk about it, you know? That's what both of us wanted to explore with this film. And just good. going off oh, okay. What, okay, go on, go on. Uh, uh, Kane, they wanted to add something. Yes, just going off of, off of what William said, um, a lot of the time in Nigerian society, when we look at subjects to do with fertility, as he said, it's, it's everything that's wrong is always being placed on the woman. Oh, it's the woman's fault. So the woman did this, the woman did that. But with this film, we wanted to look at it from a different perspective and say, let's look at it from the, from the man's point of view. What if this time it's not actually the woman's fault? What if the woman is covering for her husband because of um, 
something that is not is not really his fault, but it's 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 a problem that comes from him. All right, Kane. Let me ask you this: uh, How was passing the same, if you like, horse as Boyeka and Leticia Wright at the Identity School of uh, Writing? How has it impacted your career, both in writing and acting? It, um, it's called the Identity School of Acting, and um, it, it, it's been a huge positive for my career, I'd say, because when I, when I when I wanted to go into acting, I didn't know where to look or, or, or who to turn to. And I remember when I first told my parents I wanted to be an actor, I told them I wanted to go to LA straight away. They said, no way, you have, to, you have to go to an acting school. So I, I, I watched Star Wars and I saw John Boyega in Star Wars and I researched on him and I saw he went to the Identity School of Acting. So I applied to that school, which is run by um, an Nigerian guy, actually. His name is Femi Ogun. I went to that school. I, I've been there for the last three years. I just graduated um, a couple of weeks ago. And it's amazing because a lot of the young Black British actors who you're, you're seeing on your screen now, a lot of them come from that school. So it, it's, it gives me a lot to look up to. And also in terms of the training, I think the training I, I received there is phenomenal. So I'd say it's been a huge positive. It's taught me so much about acting, so much about myself and so much about the creative process as a whole. Okay, well, Kende, I'm tempted to go down the road of finding out if there's something in the method acting, uh, you know, that style, because watching Letitia and, and, and Buiga, there's something there that, that hints to that. But I'll leave that for now so I can go to William and ask why the short film genre? Was it down to economics or why did you choose to go for that, that, that style of filmmaking? So we decided to choose a short film because the reality is that some subjects are better explored in a shorter context. There are films that you can dive into entire worlds and entire stories, and that's great for long form. But we wanted to go short form for this because we wanted to show a moment. You know, we wanted to focus on a moment where a char where characters have to make decisions, and that's how everyone lives their lives, you know? There are such important moments in our lives that change the outcomes of everything, you know? Like step, like uh, where, where you want to go to school, who you want to meet, and step standing up to your parents. These are key moments that have massive in impacts on everything. And for this, this film, this story, it was that we wanted to focus on. And that's why we chose to do it in a shorter form. Um, obviously, with the shorter form, you don't need as much money. And, you know, but yeah, I think that that was just a really focus and a nail on what we were doing. And uh, we were thankful that we were able to have a superhuman crew. Everyone, Kennedy himself, was phenomenal. He carried this film on his shoulders. Like, it's very difficult for male actors to feel comfortable being vulnerable. And with this subject matter, it's a very vulnerable subject matter. So whole crew, whole cast really nailed it. And you do get this experience that is so unique. And I really think everyone should try and see because it's a very beautiful, very beautiful film. Oh, I wish I, we had the time to ask you how you picked your act. But thank you, William Boyd and Kaede Cardoso.